Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I'm here with Jacob, and I want to learn more about American Contingency. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. All right, guys, so we're here at Hamvention 2022, and I came by this booth, and I'm kind of interested in what is this exactly? As many of you know, uh, I do a lot of emergency preparedness stuff on the channel, and when I hear something about uh, contingency, I think contingency plan. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but Jacob here is gonna tell us all about it. So, Jacob, first, thank you for taking yeah, the time to definitely. speak with me this morning. What is American Contingency? So you're not far off. We talk a lot in American Contingency about pace plans, which you know everybody here is familiar with. Um, but really what American Contingency is, is a national community emergency preparedness group. Okay. What we're pro trying to do is provide information so that people can lo or organize locally and spend time working on their community, learning CPR classes, learning food storage, learning ham radio, whatever it is that will make your community more prepared. That's what we're focused on helping provide those resources. And where we differ from sort of Aries and Racy's is we're not uh, ham radio only. We really want you in your day-to-day -day life to be more prepared, whether it's helping folks with a flat tire in your neighborhood, or it's something like a tornado or an ice storm or flooding or hurricanes. Um, and so we're really focused on how to make you better prepared and how to make your neighbors better prepared so that everybody can get through you know, emergencies a little bit better. And that's the contingency part of that. Okay. Um, the other thing we, we really focus on is you know, CERT classes. Folks will ask us about CERT a lot. Is this similar to CERT? The difference is, is we're always on. We, we don't have to wait for somebody to activate us or call us on a phone tree and say, okay, we need you guys to come out and do some things. What we focus on is being on every day, all the time, just being better everywhere we go, whether that's at work helping somebody, if I have to do CPR because of a lab emergency at work, or that's, you know, we had a friend get stuck in uh, Texas on a family trip. He wrecked his car. And so in about two hours after he set up the signal on our, one of our phone apps, said, hey, I need help, how do we do this? Within two hours, there was a plan and a bunch of volunteers from around the Southeast region to get him, get his car safe, and then get him home to Pennsylvania. And he was home in about 28 hours. And, and where did this occur? So he's from Pennsylvania. Yep. He wrecked his car in Texas. And 28 hours later, he him, was home. Him and his car. And his car, yeah. Now that's pretty impressive. And, and two hours is all it took to do the plan. About an hour and 45 minutes, two hours. Wow, that's um, pretty cool. Yeah, it was it was great. It was great to see. So you've hit on something here because when I am a ham radio operator, I love ham radio, but it's about communicating. Yes. And I'm not particularly uh, against whatever means of communication we can use. If it's CB, if it's FRS, if it's ham radio, I don't care as yep. long as we can communicate. So you guys, you focus on all of that and a phone app as yeah, well? Yeah, so so we're putting out phone apps as part of it. We also use Zello as a, as a means of communication. We have different channels for different regions. We have different channels for different states. Um, okay. And if there's a channel that would serve your community better, start one, use one, invite people to it. Uh, we also have weather channels. Whenever the hurricanes are coming up or big storms coming up on the southwest or southeast, we'll actually put up HF nets, UHF, VHF nets, and we're listening on Zello all the time. So if cell towers are still active or Wi-Fi is still active and you can get out, somebody is listening to that channel 24 hours a day and we'll help anybody. If you're, so you're a ham and you call out or you're GMRS and you call out and somebody's listening, we're glad to help. That's, so you're, you're monitoring all the channels then? We once. really try to, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's what you said, right? We have website where, where it's a forum sort of base and you can go on and post questions, get to know folks in your community. Um, I host meetups, I organize classes. I just organized a wilderness first aid class for, for the group where I'm with. Um, and it's really about how do we get better and then how do we communicate that out and how do we help each other in need? And if you can't communicate, that's that's just the, the first step sort of in any emergency. Right, so it's a national, American Contingency is a national organization, but it's broken down into regional or local. Y exactly, It's well, it's focused on local. And that can mean your city, it can mean your neighborhood. You know, okay. if, if there's not a group that serves your community, however you define community, you right. can start a group. Right? Okay. It's not about the national organization saying this is the only way to do things and we'll tell who to activate and sort of, you know, what resources to send that way. Right. It's about people helping people. Are there any type of like uh, national nets or regional yeah. nets? Or? Yeah, so we have we have a couple nets to go on. We have about eight actually from okay. digital modes like JS8 call and FL Digi, FL Message. 
Uh, we also do phone nets. We have rolling phone nets uh, once a week that go from the east coast or west coast to east coast. Okay. Um, we have uh, just you know. I have a state net that I run in my city. Every week we have a net to talk about emergency preparedness that I run. So it's really about what serves you best. And if it doesn't exist, we encourage you to provide the resources to get that started. You know, everybody's willing to answer questions. So if you know something and you're willing to teach it, Great, please. <laughs> Everybody wants to learn stuff. Yeah, we all have different skill sets, right? Absolutely. I mean, we have police, we have paramedics, we have, uh, I'm a chemist, right? Okay. And so um, one of the things I put together recently is a chemical safety at home course so that people aren't having those chemical emergencies at home and what to do in an emergency so they don't get hurt even you know, more, right? You right. don't want to exacerbate a problem and, and do, you know, <laughs> increase the issue that you've already got. Right. Um, and so it's really anything. If you have a skill, Come and teach it. Share your knowledge. Help other people be better prepared in their daily life. Okay, so if someone wants to learn more about American Contingency, how would they find out uh, more information? Yeah, so there's two options. If you want to just go to AmericanContingency.com, you can okay. go and learn more, you know, do the About Me and sort of read through, and there's a blog there as well. If you're interested and want to sign up on our forums, you can go to members.americancontingency.com and sign up with a free account and get involved and you know start looking at the groups and everything that are there. Um, there are a couple paid levels in there, okay. but it's five bucks a month or 10 bucks a month, depending on what you want access to. I've been doing it for a couple of years. I don't even notice it. It's less than a cup of coffee these right, days. Right, so, right, right. I, um, I totally get it. Well, I appreciate you taking the time today. When I get back to the house in Tennessee, I'm definitely going to check out the website. So thanks yeah, again for taking definitely. the time. Take care. Have a great day. Glad, glad to talk with you. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, 7-3.